If you have ever wondered about how a single baby, identical twins, and fraternal twins, get conceived and develop inside a human body, then this video is for you. Let's start with the single baby scenario. It follows the simple procedure of fertilization, that means a single egg cell is fertilized, by a single sperm to form a zygote. Within few days, this zygote turns into a blastocyst, which is formed, when the fertilized cell divides itself, over and over again, giving rise to hundreds of cells. During the first week, after fertilization, if you could peek inside a blastocyst, you will find massive cells, that will give rise to an embryo. So, this blastocyst, continues its journey towards the uterus, and once it is inside, it will implant itself on the uterine lining, and will develop as a single baby. Moving over to identical twins, and how they develop, identical twins are called monozygotic twin, s because they develop from the same zygote. They always have same sex, two boys or, two girls. So, just like the single baby scenario, here too, a single egg is fertilized, by a single sperm. But the magic happens, when this single egg cell will divide itself into two embryos, and enter the uterus. Whether the twins will share the same amnion, chorion or placenta, that depends on the stage, at which the cell split itself into two. It all happens in just a week, on day two, at the two cell stage, on day four, at the early blastocyst stage, or on day six, on late blastocyst stage. The earlier the splitting occurs, the more independently the twins develop. So, a pair of identical twins, that split during the two cell stage, will each develop its own amnion, chorion and placenta while the twins that split during the late blastocyst stage will share the amnion and placenta. There is a myth that goes around in the population of the world, and that is, having identical twins is genetic and depends on the mother. But, this is not the case. Science hasn't been able to attribute a reason, for having identical twins. Last but not the least, let's talk about fraternal or non-identical twins. The very first thing is that, fraternal twins are definitely influenced by the mother's genes. These are called dizygotic twins, because they develop from two different zygotes, or fertilized egg cells. During ovulation, a mother releases one egg, during every menstrual cycle. But sometimes, she releases two eggs, and these two eggs get fertilized by two sperm cells. Since, both the eggs are different, fraternal twins look different, and can be of different sex that is one boy, one girl. Once inside the uterus, the twin embryos develop independently, and have their own amnion, chorion and placenta.